back to my channel. Today I am going to share my experience as a STEM undergrad and studying in law school. So this video is going to be divided into three parts. The first part is why did I choose to come to law school? The second part is what are the differences and difficulties I encounter at law school? And the third part is um, the prospective job opportunities for a student who have a background like me. So if you're interested in this kind of topic, let's go. First of all, let me introduce myself and before I start this video. I am currently a rising 2L at Cornell Law School and um, when I at when I was in undergrad, I studied computer science and math at the University of Southern California and uh, yeah. So first of all, why did I choose to come to law school? I didn't choose to come here because I'm not good at science or technology or engineering. In fact, I'm very good at it, um, but I don't feel as motivated as um, I thought I would be. I I had a lot of uh, friends who are a software engineer but who worked in a relative fields in big tech firms and I just don't feel like I have the same passion about um, implementing things um, in apps and website as they did. So um, especially I took a lot of theoretical math classes and theoretical computer science classes during undergrad and I feel like I always enjoy those kind of classes more than the classes that ask us to implement an app or a website. So yeah, I feel like I so yeah, I decided that I don't want to become a software engineer who did something that I don't like. So part two, different and difficulties. Um, so one biggest difference is possibly about studying. Um, during undergrad, a lot of the classes are graded based on uh, attendance, projects, midterms, and finals. Especially for those of you who are also an engineering student, we um, probably spend more time on projects comparing to reviewing for finals or other exams, but that's not the case in law school. In law school, your um, the grade of one class is solely dependent on your grade of its final exam so um, naturally you're going to study extra extra hard uh, last month of uh, before final um, it's not saying that you don't have to study hard for um, the rest of the time it's just gonna you, you're just going to study extra hard for the finals and um, the second part is possibly um, one of those experiences all STEM students would have because we like simple answers. We like a yes and no answer toward each question that we ask. However, in law, you're going to, especially for me, the first few months, I uh, have experienced a lot of uh, confusion because I didn't fully understand that uh, in legal profession, there aren't a lot of definite answers. Even though there is correct law and not correct law, some of, uh, most of the times you're going to be put in a situation where you can argue from both sides. So this is like a different mindset that I think um, you're going to be put into. And then the third part, the third is probably going to be extracurricular. Um, Especially for us, us as engineering students, uh, our grades are not as important as in internship experiences and projects that we've done in schools because those are the things that are going to be put on our resume and going to be handed to the HRs and then HR will look at the projects and be like, oh, this is the person who have the skills we're looking for. But in law school, this is totally different, especially if you are looking for big law. I would say 65% of your, of your interview is going to be dependent on your, is going to depend on your, um, your score, your GPA, and your school. This, um, as far as extracurriculum, I think um, 
one of the uh, we as a computer science student, the thing that we've attended the most um, is probably hackathon, and here it's probably journal and mood court. But those of the, those are the things that you wouldn't be able to participate in until the second year of law school. For the first year of law school, uh, you probably would have some uh, representative position in a lot of the groups, but they are not uh, as important as your grade. Okay, so the last part is prospective job opportunities. So for a lot of students like us who have a technical background would choose patent law. Um, patent law is further divided into two biggest categories. One of them is uh, patent prosecution and the second one is patent litigation. So for patent prosecution, you're basically filing patents for your clients. So these are very niche new technologies that are newly discovered and you are just going to read them and understand them and then file them to the government. And the second one is patent litigation. So litigation of course means that you are going to court but as a first or second or young lawyer, young associates, you're probably not going to get the opportunities to argue in court. What you're gonna do the most is doing legal researches and uh, doing all of the writing for briefs and stuff like that. But you are working for something that is going to be presented before the court. And um, the technologies that are going, uh, that you're going to understand are usually the technologies that have already been used in real world for a long time and um, got litigated because there is an infringement, uh, a possible infringement of this patent. Uh, two other areas that uh, people who are interested in technology and law um, are going to be interested in is, is tech transactions and um, data and privacy. Um, tech transactions are usually, um, I don't know, it depends on, I think it depends on different law firms, but it's probably a sub group under, under uh, business law. And usually you, this group will be hired when there is a merge and acquisition between two large companies and then there are some patent concerns because of merging. Um, for data and privacy, this is a very niche new area of law that is currently attracting more and more attention. It's basically when the data can be used, how it can be used, how it can be regulated and stuff like that. Okay, now conclusion time. Um, I am not going to say that law school is easy, or easier or harder than engineering school. I think it depends on your personal choice or your personal experience and stuff like that. But I definitely think that law school is going to be a very different experience than being an engineer. Um, being an engineer at um, undergrad is not going to be a drawback for you at law school. Even if um, you consider yourself, I don't know about you, but when I was applying to law school, I often was worried that my uh, writing skills are not as good as my peers. and. That could be the case, but this should not be one of your concern because everyone who is new to law school, who is new to law, doesn't know anything about legal writing and it is a different area of writing comparing to you know, just normal writing, writing an essay. So if you are interested in law and you have a technical background, I think law school can be a good choice for you. Um, do not let other things to intimidate you. So, yeah, that is all what I have to say today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.